I started reading because motivation without education is worthless. And you read about all of the things that the animal products, the dairy products can do to your health in a negative way that it really meant a lot to me. So that, in addition to my motivation, got me into the diet that I'm Excellent. on now. Welcome back. You know, now we have Jeffrey Shulman. Jeffrey, thanks for uh, joining us today. My pleasure. And I want you to talk a little bit about your experience with vegan diet. But before that, tell us a little bit about who you are. Well, I uh, was a practicing attorney for over 40 years. Oh. I retired within the last couple of years. And now I'm retired and enjoying it tremendously. Oh, good. good. And, and, you're being, and you're being proactive with your health. What prompted you to start? When did you start your, your vegan diet? Well, it's been, a, it's been more a progressive thing. I, I started it because of a very bad family history of coronary artery disease. And uh, Coronary artery disease is basically when you can have the blood vessels or, or the ones that take blood to your heart. If they close up and block up, and that's called coronary artery disease. And it can give you uh, heart attacks. Right. And I, have a, I had a very strong history of, in my family of heart attacks, bypasses, etc. And I wanted to try to avoid it. Sure. And I thought at the beginning it was just being thin, that that would do it. But I found out that so many, and I was a runner, uh -huh. and I found out that so many runners were having heart attacks and, and the disease, etc. And uh, I gradually started learning, and you have to learn on your own, I started learning on how diet can affect coronary artery disease in a favorable way. So it was a gradual process until approximately maybe eight years ago, I was uh, on a totally vegan diet sure. except for some fish. Okay. I couldn't give that up entirely. Okay. So I eat some fish, but I eat no meat, turkey, chicken, dairy products, uh, etc. And you feel better, huh? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Perfect. And one point that, that Jeff made is that he had a, a strong family history of coronary artery disease and he wanted to reduce that risk for him. You know, things work best, in my opinion, when you have a goal. When you just, if you just do something, just do it, it's harder to stay on it. But if you have a purpose in mind that I'd like to do this to prevent this or achieve a goal, if you're goal oriented, whether it be a diet or any other habit, it's, it's just easier to do and it, it gives you motivation. So, I mean, there are lots of ways you can, you know, go about reducing your risk of coronary disease. Why did you choose this way, the vegan? Well, I, I started reading because motivation without education is worthless. You can be motivated, but if you're not educated, Doesn't it's matter. not going to do any good. So basically, I picked vegan because I had started reading about it. And uh, I started by giving up meat, but I was still eating chicken, turkey, processed foods. And I happened to go to a physician who was a preventative cardiologist, which you don't find very often. Sure. I think most physicians, and I mean, this isn't a knock on them, I think it's more it's how we've education. Been trained. We've been They're, trained that way. They haven't been trained. So most physicians just fix what's been broken. Reactive. Where a preventive car, uh, physician wants to prevent it from being broken. Sure. So I think the, the strongest impetus in becoming a vegan was that my physician suggested that I read a book called The China Study. The China Study. By a Dr. Campbell. And you read about all of the things that the animal products, the dairy products, etc., can do to your health in a negative way, that it really meant a lot to me. And also processed food, right? Oh, I mean, absolutely. You talk about processed foods absolutely. in that book yes. quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. So that, in addition to my motivation, got me into the diet that Excellent. I'm on now. An important point that Jeff makes is that you can be motivated and have a goal, but the key is education. I mean, you can only get blueprints from diets or plans, but what you have to do is that you know, fix that blueprint with your life and education and make it fit. Now, did you notice when you, when you started the vegan diets, any health benefits? And how quickly did you notice oh, things changing? Absolutely. As I said, I was going to a cardiologist, not because I had disease, but to prevent disease. And when I started going to this person, my cholesterol was well over 200. Which, uh, is, which is abnormal. And for those yes. who don't know, you know, cholesterol of 200, over 200 is abnormal. And uh, my LDL, which I guess is the bad cholesterol, sure. was high. Okay. Uh, and my that HDL, ever, which is the good cholesterol, was low. Was low. But when, after I was on this diet for a while, my uh, total cholesterol dropped maybe 75 points. Interesting. And my LDL dropped way below what 
they consider good. My HDL rose. So excellent. And uh, you know, and I take a screening test every year, which has been good. So so far, so good. So good. So what about feeling good? Did you get more benefits as far as feeling like you have more energy? Did that happen to you at all? Yes, the, the energy. There's no question about. And how quickly is that for for those of us who need to know? You know like how how quickly am I going to feel? It's good? not going to be overnight. Obviously, sure. it's uh, it's probably again a gradual process. But it's it's a matter of maybe two three months. You can notice a noticeable difference that you're not as sluggish anymore. You don't get that two o'clock drowsiness sure. at the office. Sure. And uh, uh, it, it, I'd say about two to three months. And now that I am retired, I find it's great because I, I go nonstop during the day now. And how long have you been vegan? I have so. been v vegan about, again, it was gradual, but totally for, I'd say, seven, eight years. So you were actually working at the time when oh, you were yes. vegan? Oh, yes. Yes. I would Excellent. bring in food into the office. I had a little refrigerator. Great. A lot of fruits, vegetables. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Parthenandi. And if you enjoyed that video, you're going to love the next one. It's full of incredible information to help you start your health hero journey.